sing out with joy, sing out with joy, Christ the Lord is risen. Sing out with joy, sing out with joy, Jesus is alive. Sing out with joy, sing out with joy, Christ the Lord is risen. Sing out with joy, sing out with joy. Jesus is alive. Clap your hands, shout for joy. People lift your voice and sing. Now he lives forevermore. Christ has won the victory. Sing out with joy, sing out with joy. Christ the Lord is risen. Sing out with joy, sing out with joy, Jesus is alive. Sing alleluia, sing alleluia, sing alleluia, he is risen. joy, Christ the Lord is risen. Sing out with joy, sing out with joy, Jesus is alive. Sing out with joy, He is alive. He is alive. Working? Yeah. Oh, it's working, yes. Okay. Well, do we have any visitors from out of town today? 
us. Any visiting? I'm out of town. Where from, honey? Detroit area. Good to have you with us. Welcome. Anyone else? Where from? Owasso. Good to have you with us. Welcome. Anyone else visiting? People here. Where from? Grand Rapids. Good to have you with us. Where else? Lansing. Good to have you. Welcome. Happy Easter, everyone. Way back there. In Ohio. You came the longest way from Ash. Thank you. Okay. Wow. Good to have you. Welcome. Before we start Mass, let's go to our special prayer and let's pray it together on this Easter day. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. My parish is composed of people people like me. I help make it what it is. is. It'll be friendly if I am. It'll It'll be be holy if I am. It's It's fused to be filled if I help fill them. them. It will do great work if I work. It'll be prayerful if I pray. It'll make generous gifts to many causes if I'm a generous giver. It'll bring others into worship if I invite and bring them. It'll be a parish of loyalty and love, of fearlessness and faith, of compassion, charity, and mercy, if I who make it what it is and fill with these same things. Therefore, with the help of God, I now dedicate myself to the task of being all things I want my parish to be. Amen. Amen. And thank you, Jesus, for giving us this glorious day and not giving us snow on Easter. Okay, everyone? Uh, Let's turn to each other and welcome each other to Mass. Okay? Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Easter. Bless you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Easter. Easter Mary, good to see you. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. If you want to come, I I see a table set. And as we begin today, let us start from your blue hymnals, number 540, Jesus Christ is risen today, number 540. Ah! 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Beloved in Christ, my dearest sisters and brothers, as we come to celebrate this Easter Mass today, we revel in the joy of God's love today, knowing how much he cares for each of us, giving us so much in Christ's resurrection making us all anew, promising us heaven. For, those days, for this day today we celebrate so well, let's ask the Lord to keep us always on that road towards holiness, towards him. So for those times we fail, let's beg the Lord for his mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life that is everlasting. Amen. Amen. God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we will keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection. May through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading 
from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad. right hand has struck with power. The Lord's right hand is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christians praise the Paschal victim, 
offer thankful sacrifice. Christ the Lamb has saved the sheep. Christ the Just One paid the price, reconciling sinners to the Father. Death and life fought bitterly for this wondrous victory. The Lord of life who died reigns glorified. O oh, Mary, come and say what you saw at break of day. The empty tomb of my living Lord, I saw Christ Jesus risen and adored. Bright angels testify, shroud and grave clothed side by side. Yes, Christ, my hope, rose gloriously. He goes before you into Galilee. Share the good news, sing joyfully. His death is victory. Lord Jesus, victor king, show us mercy. Amen. Alleluia. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran to and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran and the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, and the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Alleluia, Alleluia, 
Alleluia. It feels so good to say that again after we've buried the Alleluia all these weeks of Lent, doesn't it? Today we embrace the greatest gift of God's love, don't we? A love that's beyond all understanding. And we celebrate with Alleluia's Alleluia's. We know this story so very well. We've heard it so many times, and yet I think it really makes us amazed as we hear it, the power it has. What a story. What a gift. What a God we have. It makes me think about a few weeks ago being at the tomb and celebrating Mass there inside the tomb, and then doing the Stations of the Cross, the Villa Della Rosa, and coming at the end to the tomb that day and seeing that dark, dark, dark tomb, that dark area with the dome above it. The sun was going down right on the tomb, its rays, and I thought to myself, wow, what a sign that all things were made new because of what happened in that place. God brought life to us forever in that place. Today, as we think about this story, we think about it and believe in it and embrace it. And we think about how it really has affected our lives, truly affected our lives. And today as we come here, I know that many of us don't think about it at times, but we really don't like change as people of God, do we? How many of us like change in this church? Anyone raising their hands? No, no one likes change. We often want to stay exactly the same. We want to be comforted in the security of what we know and what we do every day. Things sometimes we do are the same as we did yesterday. Nothing changes. We like that routine of doing things over and over. We did yesterday, we're going to do again today. We don't want that pattern to change. But the promises of Easter have changed it all. Now everything's the opposite. It's not business as usual anymore. Nothing is the same It's not the same old, same old anymore. Nothing has status quo anymore because in Jesus Christ, the risen one, things have changed forever. Easter is all about allowing that incredible saving act of Jesus, the power of the resurrection, to really change absolutely everything, to change the way that we all see the world, to change the way we see God, to change the way we see each other, believing that takes real faith. The kind of faith that allows really all of us to be hopeful in the face of so many disappointments and sorrow that happen in our life, so much grief, so much tragedy. In the light of all of that, it inspires us to meet the needs of other people before our own needs. It moves us to count our blessings, not counting the cost, and giving back more than ever to others, not wanting anything back in return. That gift of the resurrection shows us there's something more to this life. It helps us to really see others, not as an other, but really as a sister and a brother, a child of God, that we all are special, very special, and worthy of love and respect. It enables us to forgive the seemingly unforgivable in life. And that kind of faith, that makes us want more than what we were yesterday. It makes us want to be better today and more down the future, to be more alive in Christ. That's a new life promised to us that was won through that cross and a way, new way of being that can only come about when we believe in that resurrection, knowing God's grace is always coming to us to make things new in each of us, making things new in each of us to be the people that God wants us to be and we want to be for each other better than ever. In other words, the miracle of Easter is not simply something we remember, is it? Something we think about that happened long ago. Easter is about what happens now, what's possible now in every heart today. It is both a celebrating of the resurrection of Jesus and believing that that same resurrection can take place in you, in you, in me. 
that we can rise to a new reality, a new possibility, a new way of seeing things, thinking and acting and being. Are we ready for that? Are we willing for that? We all know we live in a world that is so mixed up today. So much, so much sadness, so much wrong, so much disunity, and so much tension all the time. And so many people keep staying away from God. So many people sin. So many people do things that really are not the right thing of what God expects. And today is a day that reminds us that that has to go away. We need to change things. We need to be people that are open more to God's graces than ever. That he will help us see that our problems, they're not going to go away. Our sorrows are not going to go away. They're never, ever going to go away. They're always going to be there. But that's not the promise of the cross, is it? That they're not going to go away or the promise that our sins are going to go away. Rather, the promise of this day tells us that none of these things win. None of these things have the ultimate power over us. They actually simply are Good Fridays waiting to be transformed into Easter Sundays. Moments where God can bring about something new in each of us. Something more beautiful in us. Something more meaningful in us. Something and someone embodying a fullness of life we never ever experienced before. That's what awaits us when we put on Christ and trust in Him put our hopes in God and our lives in his hands. It's not a stretch to say that heaven that we long for, the heaven that Jesus won for us, is not something we need to only experience one time when we get there. It tells us we should be experiencing it all the time, right now, here on earth, if Christ is in our lives. He's helping us see that heaven's here too. And us and so many things that we experience. It begins now and then it continues into eternity. What a God we have. And so my friends, maybe today is the day to put aside the temptation to always want things to always be the same. To always be about that same routine. To always think that this is what we get. And that's all we get. Rather, let's open ourselves to the power of Easter and thereby let God recreate us into the beautiful people he's always wanted each of us to be. To truly let his love empower us and change us and transform us. He is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. Shall we stand? Sisters and brothers, let us humbly beseech our Lord our God to bless now this water he has created, which will be sprinkled on all of us as a memorial of our own baptism. May he graciously renew that we may remain faithful to his spirit whom we have all received. Let us pray. Lord our God, in your mercy, be present to your people as we keep today this most sacred day and for us as we recall the wondrous works of our creation and still the greater work of our redemption, graciously now bless this water. For you created water to make the fields fruitful. You truly give it to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy. For through the water you freed your people, quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed the new covenant. 
that you were to enter upon with the human race, and last of all, through water which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, now may we bless this water, this memorial of our baptism that we have received, and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, through the Paschal mystery, we have been all buried, been buried with Christ Jesus in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now, as our Lenten observances are concluded, let us renew now our holy vows of baptism by which we renounce Satan and all his works and the promises may be given to serve God in his holy Catholic Church. And so I want to hear you, okay? Do you renounce Satan? I do. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all of his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of of the body and life everlasting? I do. May Almighty God, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth and water in the Holy Spirit, bestow on us the forgiveness of sins. Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. I saw water flowing, I saw water flowing, from the right side of the temple, from the right side of the temple, alleluia, alleluia. The water brought God's light and God's salvation and God's salvation and the people sang in praise and the people sang in praise Alleluia Alleluia Before God our Father, our prayers, asking God to keep us always in that newness of life.
that all church leaders will be renewed in their mission of leading all the people to Jesus, the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deeper unity among all Christians as they acknowledge together and proclaim to the world the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the risen Christ may bless, guide, and protect all who serve in public office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who conquered the power of death, may give our society the strength to eliminate the evils of abortion, assisted suicide, and capital punishment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be comforted and healed, and that all who have died may share in the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ray and Betty Stocknick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any personal intentions that you brought to Mass today that you would like to mention to our Lord in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, thank you for this Easter day. Thank you for the promises of the resurrection that renews each of us each day giving us life in you and so many graces. Bless us today in those graces and keep us growing more in you faithful each day. Bless our prayers we bring before you today and may this be a day of true celebration. Answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. As you're seated now, our ushers come forward accepting your goodness. Thank you, people of God, for supporting St. Philip Neary Parish with your generosity. Thank you. Spread the 
pray, dearest sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Exalt with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer you in this sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, O come with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your praise as we all now acclaim. rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by this same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of this. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the moment memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Philip Neri, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Jeffrey, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family that you've summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to all of our departed brothers and sisters, Ray and Betty, Satanik, and all those who are pleasing you with their passing of this, from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on our world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare now to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be Messes as we forgive the 
those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Shall we share the sign of the risen Christ's love with each other? Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those of us joining us online, or for those who can't accept communion at this time, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Look the body of Christ. The body of Christ, Peter.
Pope Francis has asked that the church continue to pray for the end of the war in Ukraine, the end of war throughout our world, and for peace in our, our land. For our, our brother, Jose Luis and Terry, who are with us today, for peace in their country, led by dictatorship, so the people of faith will be not persecuted there anymore in Nicaragua, and for their bishop who is in prison. Also for all the people suffering because of the tornadoes, the many uh, tragedies in our country this year, the, the shootings, for all the people that suffered today, let's beg the Lord to give them some peace on this Easter Sunday. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just a few little reminders as we go forth today. First off, Remember this Friday, our bishop is coming to have Mass with us at 6 o'clock, and he is going to confirm three of our young people and give them their first Holy Communion. And because uh, it's a strange time, it's not weekend Mass, we're inviting the whole parish to come to the Mass, meet our bishop, be part of the celebration, and we're going to have a big potluck dinner in the Family Center afterwards. So we just need to have you sign up for that. The dinner will probably be about 7 o'clock, and they're ordering all kinds of chicken and stuff, so it's going to be a beautiful dinner. So just bring a dish to pass, and if you forget, you're fine. Well, we have enough food over there, I promise. So please come. Just sign up, okay, so we have an idea. Tom on tomorrow is Jerome Buffka's uh, burial at St. Rita's at 8 o'clock in the morning. And because his funeral was in November when that major snowstorm, we couldn't do it then, so tomorrow. Debbie Morowski's funeral will be Tuesday, the 11th, at 11 a.m., the visitation will be here at 10 o'clock, and a luncheon will follow right after the funeral. We have lost uh, several people this, this year, and um, also, you know, the uh, Thorson family, the Majak family lost Amy, and then uh, we lost Don Herriger and, and now Debbie from our parish. So keep those families in your prayers this Easter, knowing that they need to be renewed in God's goodness of the resurrection. Uh, we know that something's better waiting for all of us someday but we can experience it here with each other already. Day, okay? Let's celebrate. No arguments at home, no fighting, no. <laughs> Just make a nice breakfast, keep the zip flipped if, you're, if you have to, okay? Just have a nice time with each other and, and just count to 10 if something goes wrong, okay? <laughs> okay. We all know what family's like. We all have one. We do, okay? <laughs> have a beautiful day, everyone. Uh, the ladies uh, made beautiful cookies for all of you to, for Easter to give you a little sweetness of Easter, so make sure you grab a beautiful cookie they decorated for you as you walk out of church and think about the sweetness of Easter, sweetness of life because of Jesus Christ. And I think, I think that's about enough. Well, we have to thank Peter and, and Luke and Father Wayne. Thank you. Thank you. And for all those who decorated the church throughout this week, it's been a busy week, so I can't wait to go to bed, honestly. <laughs> I, it, it is God's joke to have two funerals the next two days right after Easter, after all these masses. So I'm taking Wednesday off, okay, everyone? 
Do you think I deserve a day off? I think I have to. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you have compassion. That tells me the risen Christ is in all of you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and lastly, um, now the news, news I should tell you, uh, Father Jose Luis is still living with us here at Empire, and so is Sergio. He's back there by the sacristy. They're still living with us here at Empire, but um, Roberto and Manuel have moved to uh, Manslona. Uh, they're living there now. Their wives were able to come here this Thursday. So, and their children, so they're united, but Sergio still is... Um, his baby does not have a passport yet, so they're working with that with the government to get him, to, the baby and, and his wife to come here. So he's still missing his wife, uh, but soon that'll happen and she'll be here with his, with his little, little baby. So, um, so just keep praying that that all goes well and he gets his wife and daughter to get here, okay? So um, that's good news. I think that's a little bit of the Easter, a little bit of Easter here. It really is for everyone. And, and thank you, people of God. You have been so gracious to Father Jose and, and uh, to, the, to the men. You've been so good. You've shown that you've washed their feet. You've really shown that you've been Jesus to them. So thank you on my behalf. I'm proud of you as parishioners to see how you're doing Jesus' work, taking care of these people that uh, were in prison and now are free and seeking asylum here in our country to a, for a new life. They have no passports anymore. They can't go back. They don't have a country. So we are adopting them. They're going to be part of us, just like many of our relatives that came here our country back when. So they're just, they, don't, they line, get in line with everyone else from the past. Okay? So praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for them. Yes. <laughs> Did I say it right, Father Wayne? Pretty much. I didn't make a mistake. Okay. Okay. So we bow our heads praying for God's blessing. May the Lord always bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you. May the Lord always walk beside you. May the Lord always bless you and keep you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. What a great choir. What a great choir, everyone. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Amen.